Joshua to me is a real heavyweight champion of the world. From the moment he won the Olympic gold, he blossomed into a brilliant professional fighter. He's got class, he's smooth, he can fight, he's got skills. Six foot six, got like an 82 inch wingspan. One of the greatest finishers already in the heavyweight division. To rank on a par with Lennox Lewis at his very best. When Anthony Joshua has you hurt, he destroys you. He's a huge star in the UK, and there aren't any of those in boxing other than him. Now, the trick here is to try to generate that type of interest in the US. There's no real world champion in heavyweight division. So when you're in America, People will say Deontay Wilder's a champion, and when you're in the UK, you're gonna hear Anthony Joshua is their champion. Normally, the Americans used to go to UK and do their business, but I'm coming here, kind of announce my name on US soil. June 1st, I step up against Andy Ruiz. I feel game, I feel confident. This is the type of fight that can really put him on the map in the United States and make the American audience really take to him. Step it on the scale. Oh, so you guys weigh in pounds? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Does anyone know how to use it? Yeah. What's happening, boss? I fell in love with you after that Klinsko fight. That was a serious fight. I said, whoa, you come from a long line of champions. Yep. I see the spirit, yep. the determination. Yep. I see it ain't nobody defeating that. You the heavyweight champion in the world. Oh, let me see which one, which one? That's, that's one, knockout. Knock all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see which one. <laughs> this is hilarious. Listen, it's an honor to be coming to Madison Square Garden. Ever since I started watching boxing, I've watched a lot of the American heavyweights, and a lot of my favorite fighters have performed here. So to be amongst some of the legends, and be amongst their spirits that have been here will be a phenomenal part of my journey. Oh, wow. The fight of the century. He was 26. 29. My 29? 29, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this boxing shit's getting hard, dog. I'm moving towards a mega fight, slowly but surely. This fight is a stepping stone towards my future goals. Ruiz is a bit more calculated with when he comes forward. He has a bit more of a strong, solid base. And then boom, boom. When Ruiz throws punches, he throws to try and hurt and knock you out. And Ruiz throws punches with intent and throws them in bunches. So I think it's not the first shot that you see coming with Ruiz. It's what follows up and the shots that you don't see because he's so quick. So I've got to make sure my reactions are sharp and I'm on point. The Jarrell Miller matchup against Anthony Joshua would probably, in all fairness, not have been as exciting as this is going to be in those early rounds because Ruiz does let his hands go. He judged the book by his cover. You think he's a jolly fat guy. But if you've seen him fight, you know he's a badass. And he lives up to his nickname, the Destroyer. He's got that winner's mentality. He's fearless. I think that's the bottom line. He is a heavyweight Mexican warrior. I'm more dangerous than Baby Miller, more accurate. I'm not scared of nobody. You have heart, you have cojones. You throw to kill, you know? Yeah, Anthony Joshua throws a lot of punches, but so do I. I hit hard, too, and I'm faster. Anthony Joshua has ever faced a Mexican fighter before. Reese has faced plenty of big, tall, strong guys. That's an advantage. Once he's in close, he lets those hands go, and they're blazing combinations, and there's a lot of power on those punches. One thing I'd like to see Andy Ruiz do is try to rough up Anthony Joshua. If you get him on the inside, see how he reacts. Get a little dirty. My strategy would be more head movement, 
staying underneath AJ's jab and try to stay as close as possible to AJ. The problem for him is that Anthony Joshua knows that's exactly what he wants to do, so we'll see. Joshua will be getting the jab out there early and trying to take the center of the ring to command against Ruiz. This is part of history. In years to come, they'll say that they came to the Madison Square Garden to witness a heavyweight championship title fight. My era of coming up right now, we used to have like Mike Tyson and Holyfield and people like that. To me, it's like the last hope of heavyweight fights really taking back over the game. Anthony Joshua is the king, what they say. But you know what? I'm here to take all that away. He's in pursuit of being the first Mexican to become a heavyweight champion of the world. He's really going to take the fight to Joshua. He's not going to play it safe. For AJ, it's his US debut. This is important. Your first fight in America, you want to come out guns a blazing. They're going to come here. They're going to travel here, like maybe 10,000, 12,000 Brits. This is heavyweight boxing at its finest, the new era. I don't care about introductions. I don't care about the singing. Ring the bell for me. Madison Square Garden is and will always be one of the most hallowed fight arenas on Earth. To become the heavyweight champion of the world is pretty much to become the king of boxing. If there was no heavyweight division, there was no boxing. I was forged and still I was in camp